Hi, and welcome to Chasing the Twist. Today, we're unboxing a very nondescript but still exciting box. Come on. This is the Rack Attach Swivel Hitch Adapter. And I love this packaging. So simple, so industrial, but also very effective. Here of a box with, I'm assuming, hardware. And here's the main piece. does is this end goes into your hitch on the vehicle and then you have it creates a separate a second hitch mount where we're going to put our bike rack in and then unless I'm missing something yeah, there we go. you can oh you can swivel it so you can open your door oh it has a nice uh, hard hard cutting board material, skid plate here. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. So, they don't provide you with a sort of screwed, screw in type hitch mount to get rid of the rattle, but they do provide you with this anti-rattle plate. So great, I think that's fantastic. Let's put this together, shall we? Who can shout? Have a ring. Uh -huh. So very simple instructions, got to put on this hook and then put the, uh, the latch on. So we're going to do that now. Daddy, have a ring. This is pretty around. Mm -hmm. well. This one puts my finger very Just well. making sure you see what I see. So I see two bolts here in the picture and two quarter inch, quarter by twenty half inch bolts and then here it says two five sixteenths inch half inch bolts but there are actually four bolts pictured I seem to have four quarter by twenty and two five sixteenths so either I have the wrong parts or the instructions are wrong let's see okay so I have the right parts I think the instructions are wrong Easy. These are, easy. this should be the 5 found 16 it. by 18. Daddy found it. And this should be for uh, quarter 20. They also sent me two different styles of bolts. One <laughs> appears to be stainless maybe, and the other three are anodized. That's a bit odd, if you ask me. Did you introduce your name yet? Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, you did not introduce it now. It's assembled. Now um, I will work on getting it in the van. So two things I noticed. One is the mismatch in the instructions, um, the mismatching hardware, and the the threaded holes for this for the top part were done prior to powder coating um, and so therefore I had to kind of work this the screw or the bolt in and out a little bit whereas the threading for the bottom one seemed to be done after the powder coating and so those went in easy. Okay, so I got the rack attach swing adapter in. Um, I can carry it by myself. 
and um, it went in fairly easily. I haven't put on the um, the anti-rattle bar thing yet, but let's open it up and see how it works just without any weight on it first. And then we're going to get some snacks, and then we'll try with the bike rack in it. Sure is. So far, so good. I have the stabilizer mounted. Uh, the powder coating was chipping off, even just tightening the bolts. So that's not awesome, um, but should be fine. I'm now going to put the bike rack into the rack attach. Okay, so it's in. Um, I measured it. It adds a good seven and a half inches um, to your hitch length. So it's just going to add length to your vehicle. But that's how it works. Let's see how it swings with the bike rack up like this, and then we'll put it down. Yada yada yada. We'll test out all that stuff. July today. July 27th. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. There you go, that's the whole reason we got it. How can you do that? Alright. Okay, so my initial impressions are pretty good. Very robust, very industrial feeling. Um, sort of quarter inch, or what feels like, well maybe not quite quarter inch. Um, steel tubing used on the rack attach swing hitch swing adapter it seems to operate just fine um, there are a couple niggles of the hardware was a bit mismatched the instructions weren't 100 percent accurate but i mean it's really simple to assemble so it wasn't a big problem and the the uh hitch stabilizer that they sent uh, with it the powder coating was crumbling off as i tightened the bolts which um, is not ideal, but um, they did provide it. That's probably partly what allows them to, you know, support the weight that they do when you swing it out. I just have two of the bikes on there, but the other two bikes are, well, one's gone because my daughter's out riding, and the other one doesn't weigh a whole lot, so it, it wouldn't change the dynamics of it too, too much. But we're excited. Now we can take the bikes, take the camping gear and swivel the bikes out of the way to access the back of the van, which we use a lot. We can cook out of the back of the van, we can just get our gear out. So for us, it seems like it's money well spent because we'll use it. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have one and what your experiences are and let me know if you have any questions. And happy adventuring.